All right, in this one, I want to talk about value types you get in your JavaScript code when you're working with HTML input boxes, basically all the kind of input you may get from the user. Let's start with our input boxes. So if I go back here and scroll down and find our first input box, so that is going to be this one that says your name. Let's say we're not asking them for a name, we're asking them for a number. So your age. And then I'm gonna change this to age ID, enter your age. Right now, the type of this input is text. So if I save this, I'm gonna go back and reload this page. So now we have to enter age in this box. So if I go here and enter something like 45, let's go get that in our JavaScript to see what that looks like. So if I go here in the console, do document dot get element by ID and the ID is age for that element. If you remember, I just replaced ID to age. That's that. If I do dot value, that should get us the value in that input box. So it says 45. You can see that 45, however, is in quotes. That means it's text, not a number 45. So the reason that's important, you have to be careful with this because if you did something like var age equals to, and then you did this whole thing to grab maybe the age of that person. Now at this point, if I see what's in that age, it will say 45. Now, if you try to do some sort of math, using this and you do age plus one, if you press enter, see, instead of going to 46, I'm getting 451 because it thinks that 45 is text. So it's adding the one as text next to it. So this is not a number. So let's try to change the type of the box to see if we get any difference. So if I change the type from text to a number, save this, go back and reload this. And I'm gonna just hit my up arrow key to get back to the same code. I'm gonna run this to see what I get. So yeah, empty because I didn't enter anything. Let's type some number here and see what happens. I'm gonna run the same thing. And you're gonna see that it's still text. See, it's in quotations. Now again, let's do that age thing create a variable age. And then if I do age plus one, still getting 551 because again, it's text. So that whole number or text, the type, like I explained in the previous videos, it's just mostly for user experience and validation. But what you're getting here, it's still going to be text. So for example, if I change this to date, save this, Go back and reload this. See, now we have this date box. If I choose a date here, whatever this date is going to be, if I run that code to get what's in the box, still left age as the ID, so this should be fine. What I'm getting again is text. And you can see the format of the date we get as text out of that box is 2019-09 dash 26, but this is still not a date. This is text. So you need to be aware of these things. So when you're getting stuff out of these boxes, know that they are gonna come back as text. So if you're trying to do some sort of math with them in JavaScript, you have to make sure you convert them to a number. Now you can convert them to a number using different ways in JavaScript. Let me actually go back and change this to a number. So I can show you some ways of doing that. And we're not gonna talk about too much which way you should be using, but I'm gonna just change this to type number, save this. So we'll go here, go back and reload. I'm gonna go back and actually just type something in here. Now let's go back and run that code. That's gonna just get us this in this variable age. So if I right now just do age to see what's in it, it's 44 as text. Now, if I wanted to convert that 44 to a number, I can use multiple ways in JavaScript of doing that. 
one is casting that to a number. So if I use this number with uppercase N and put that age variable in it, if I run it, it will become now a number 44. See, it doesn't have quotations, which means if I do that plus one, see it goes to 45 because now it's a number. So other ways to convert it to a number is to use parse int and parse float. So parse int will parse it to an integer. So right now, if I run this, it will still get me 44 as a number. And if I add one, I will get 45. And I could also use parse float, which would also convert it to a number. And see, it's 44. And if I do plus one, it will still work out the math. The difference between parse int and parse float is depending what type of number you're trying to parse. So if you're parsing a whole number, then parse int is fine. But let's say this age was 44.3. So if I take that now and grab that value all over again, let me just run this and then run things like parse int over that 44.3. I'm going to just get 44 because we're just keeping the whole number. So we're just dropping decimal points. So parse float will keep the decimal point. If you think you have a decimal point number, you use parse float, I guess. Number will still do a decimal point like this. So we can use the casting and that works as well. So if you're getting data from a web page, just always know what you're getting in your JavaScript side. It's just text. So if you want to do some math operation, you need to make sure you first convert it to some sort of number or date or whatever else you need it to be before you can actually do some sort of math operation with it. And that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.